Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut, and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. Welcome to Athens. This is where great thinkers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle put the finishing touches on a fantastic invention, logic. The art of logic is about thinking about things honestly, consistently, and with the desire to learn the truth, and it's one of the three main ways that we have of learning new things. Logic is connected pretty closely to the truth, so for a while I wanted to talk about this in the first segment. You see, logic reveals a lot about the truth that isn't obvious from the get-go. Truth tells us that some people are right and others are wrong, but logic gives us a way to figure out which is which. There's a set of rules to follow during logical discussion, and without those rules it's almost impossible to get at the truth. When you're studying logic for the first time, the main rules you want to learn about are called axioms. Rules of logic that are always right no matter what. For example, a thing is a thing. That's a rule that's always true. Another simple rule follows from the first one. A thing isn't what it isn't. With basic rules like these, we can start to ask more questions. And the best way to start is by figuring out what kinds of questions there are. There are really three kinds of questions about the world around us. The first question is, what is it? This can usually be answered with scientific measurement, figuring out the properties of an object, like a rock, for example, and determining what it is. The second question is, what's the nature of something's existence? This is much harder to answer, because it's about understanding what existence itself is. We can't arrive at any answers about the concept of existence using science, because we can't measure concepts. For this, we need logic. The last question is, is this good or bad? Answering this question is the hardest of all, requiring a whole different study method, ethics. Maybe I'll be able to learn about that later, too. There are folks in the world who don't accept anything unless it's been measured, or at least they say they don't. But there's something they aren't thinking about when they say that. Probably a lot of things, in fact, but I'm going to start with clouds. It's very hard to measure a cloud, and by the time you're done figuring out its size, it's probably gotten bigger or smaller. Most people don't waste their time measuring clouds. Even meteorologists only really pay much attention to that when there's a big storm approaching a populated area or something. Here's the thing. When we look up into the sky and see clouds, we don't need to measure them to believe they exist. I don't know a single person who has a hard time believing in clouds. It's the same way with dreams, concepts, and the nature of existence. Trying to measure them is a waste of time, but we can figure out certain things about them using logic. Because of this, we know that both science and logic are extremely useful for learning new facts. And here's how logic works. First, logical conclusions can't contradict any axioms, any statements that are obviously true. Second, they have to be consistent. They can't contradict one another, or there's a flaw in the logic somewhere. Lastly, if your statement has a logical fallacy in it, it's unreliable. I might get into those a little more later on. So to sum it up, logic is just as important as science if you want to get at the truth. Without that, there's nothing to stop people from assuming that a tree is a bird just because they show up in the same place a lot. You can use measurement to show that birds can fly and trees can't, but you can't use it to prevent people from drawing false conclusions. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.